Hey, welcome to WHS Sports Center. Here with Ryan Nash, Dave Valley, and myself, Stephen Yearly. The fall season has ended with a lot of Weymouth teams going deep in the playoffs. The team show great poise and promise for the future. In today's show, we have extremely exciting highlights from both our WHS football and soccer games. We also have an interview with captain and star player David Harrison. We also have analysis of the fall season and the team's journeys. First, we will start with the homecoming football game with a big win for the Wildcats. A few games into the season, the Weymouth Wildcats hosted the Branchy Womps at Weymouth High School. This was a big turning point in the season for the Wildcats after getting a big win. We're going to go through some clips of the game to show you other highlights. Uh, as you can see here, it's senior night at Weymouth High School. We all just want to take our time and acknowledge and congratulate and thank all the seniors for all their time and effort playing for Weymouth High School. To start the game, on the first possession, Harrison drops back and hits Ainsley cutting across the middle for a 76-yard touchdown. After the touchdown, extra point for the Wildcats is good. This was a great start for the Wildcats, getting the lead early, and the fans really got into the game. After, after the touchdown, Ainsley celebrated with his teammates. Going to come back and dig themselves out of the hole, Branchy fumbles the ball, and it ends up getting recovered by uh, lineman Jason Davin. Following Fernandez's touchdown, Harrison throws another touchdown to Ryan Ainsley. After this touchdown, Branchy drives to the one-yard line, and the Weymouth Wildcats get a, get a goal line stop. The score is now 21-7 in the Wildcats' favor. With 31 seconds left in the second quarter, Ainsley scores a 43-yard touchdown thrown by Harrison. Extra point is good. Score is now 28-7. The Wildcats get this lead, and they keep running with it after that. Perfect. Bradley intercepts the ball and runs it for a 69-yard touchdown. This was the first touchdown of his high school career. After, after this touchdown, the extra point was good, making the score 35-7 to in the Wildcats' favor. In an exclusive interview with M Magic Mark Duchamp after the game, Bradley was really excited about his first touchdown and really ha happy it happened on the senior night. Branchy scores late in the third, but would fall short to the Wildcats, 49-14. to Cats walk away with the win. The BCI Eagles host the Weymouth Wildcats for the Wildcats' first playoff game. To start the game, Dave Harrison throws to Tyler O'Brien for a first down. Tyler O'Brien has been great this season, receiving the majority of the receptions for the Wildcats. Following that play, Matt Long throws a ball to Dave Harrison, who takes it to the BC's 10-yard line. Dave Harrison has a huge impact on this team. He's an excellent captain, and everyone looks up to him. After this, at the beginning of the second quarter, the Weymouth Wildcat drives to the BCI 5-yard line, but does not convert on the touchdown. After that, the field goal attempt by Matt Long is no good. Following that, Dave Harrison runs to the BC High 5-yard line. Play does not convert. It was an excellent drive, but... BC High's linemen are very, very good. After ensuing possession, the BCI quarterback, Sean Holleran, there was a 39-yard pass to Stillman to the Weymouth 26-yard line. Farrier runs into the end zone for a touchdown. The extra point is good. After scoring the touchdown, he gets up and sellies with all his teammates. The score is now 7-0 BC High. After being down 7-0, the Wildcats try to fight back after ensuing possession again. Despite this, Harrison throws an interception to Cosnell. After catching the ball, Cosnell tries to make some moves to get down to the end zone, but gets taken down after five, five or so yards. After that play, Matt Long throws an interception to Walsh. Matt Long, this wouldn't be his best game of the season, but they still stuck with it and toughed it out. Follow, following the interception, BCI's running back, Austin Whitten, runs for a 42-yard touchdown. Following, following the touchdown, the BCI Eagles go for a two-point conversion, and that is also good. It was a great run by him, finding a middle lane through the defense of the Wildcats. With an open lane, he cuts through the middle and gets the touchdown. Following the Austin Whitten 42-yard touchdown, Matt Long throws a second interception of the night to Cosnell. Cosnell takes the ball, runs downfield, and ends up getting stopped around the 35-yard line. After ensuing that drive, the BCI Eagles score to, make the, to win the game 28 to nothing. The Wildcats lost the game and get eliminated from the playoffs. Yet, due to the new rules, they still have two consolation games following this game. 
The Wildcats lost to CM and beat New Bedford in the Constellation Games. Thanks, guys. Now we're here with Dave Harrison, quarterback of the Weymouth Wildcats. Dave, thanks for being with us. No problem. Thanks for having me. Just got a few questions for you, Dave. Uh, this year was uh, first year with the MIA change, the schedule on you guys. Playoffs came in the middle of the season instead of coming after Thanksgiving. How did that, how'd you like that? Um, it was good. It was different compared to following years because you're, you're still going to have another game after the Thanksgiving game. So you got to prepare yourself knowing that you're still, season is going to be over after the Thanksgiving game. So, but I think it was a good change. It was, they had to change it, so I think it was a good change. Yeah. Do you think that affected the outcome of the BC game? I mean, it gave you guys less time to prepare? Um, you know, BC High, they were a great team. You know, they in a great league. So I think if we prepared more, we would still have had a better chance. But you never know with the outcomes of the game. You know, one day it could have been different. Another game we could have won. So you never know. I like to think that if we had more time, we could have won. But I never know. Right. Because it was a, a senior group of guys. You guys had been playing together for a long time. And, you know, that goes into you guys are all going to be graduating this year. How do you think that's going to leave leave the team going into next season? Uh, it's going to be tough. they got a lot of spots to fill. So if you just got to count on the younger guys. Um, hope that our leadership gave them the opportunity that they will be able to succeed next year. So you just got to hope and uh, hope that they can fill in those spots. Okay. Well, um, four years come and gone, yeah. fortunately. Um, what's your favorite mo favorite memory? Your four years of football. Probably the the Needham game my junior year because that was my first game playing quarterback. So, and they got the lead with about two minutes left when we came down the field, and I scored with 20 seconds left. Tyler caught the pass, so it was just a great way to start off my uh, quarterback career. Right, it was a good game. And um, finally, you are a three-sport athlete. Where do you see yourself going next year? Um, I hope Stonehill. Stonehill is probably my number one choice, and I uh, I hope to play football there. So football definitely will help me get into whatever school I play. So, but I hope to play football wherever I go. Okay. Do you think the fans were as good as you hoped this year? Oh, definitely. They came out to all the games, even though they were the four o'clock games. So, yeah. But they they made it everywhere. So they were they were great this year. Couldn't ask for better fans. Yeah. No way you'd rather play, right? Nope. Dave, thanks for coming. No problem. Thanks. For great talking me. to you. And uh, how do you how do you like the show? It was great. It was great. It was definitely an experience. I loved it. Think think it will rise the popularity and. For you guys? For yeah, teams? definitely. It would keep kids aware and parents aware of um, how sports teams are doing around Weymouth High. All right. Sounds great. This is Dave Lally with Dave Harrison. Back to you, Steve Owen Ryan. Here to wrap up the fall sports, we have the girls' soccer team, the boys' soccer team, and the girls' volleyball team. The girls' soccer team record was 6-13, and 13, and they ended up missing the playoffs. Next, we have the boys' soccer team, who finished with a record of 8-7-1. and one. Uh, the boys soccer team made it to the playoffs, and in the first round they beat Barnstable with a score of two to nothing. Unfortunately, in the second round they lost to Needham with a score of one to nothing. Uh, it was really it really stunk losing to a local rival like Needham, but uh, they they had some great leaders like Lucas Rosende. He's going to extend his soccer career, and he's going to be the starting goalie at Merrimack. Uh, also, the girls volleyball team finished with, finished with a record of nine and nine and qualified for the playoffs. Uh, unfortunately, in the first round of the playoffs they lost three to two to Walpole. They have some great leaders like Courtney Farrell and Alana DiBello, and they also have a lot of young talent like Colleen Perry, who will be back to lead the team next year. Thanks for joining us. That's all the time we have today. Special thanks to WCA for letting us use their awesome facility. Special thanks to Nick Matrano and Cody Strong for all their works backstage. Special thanks to Dave Lally for all his efforts, and a special thanks to Dave Harrison for agreeing to do an interview with us. Great show, huh, Nash? Yeah, it was good. Stay classy, WHS. Go Cats. Run fast for your mother, run fast